Yes, we were talking about the possible mental health impact on, on children with dyslexia. So if dyslexia remains unidentified and unsupported, then the consequence of that is that children think, they're stupid, I can't do this, why can't I do it? They, they think, um, why am I being forced to go to school and be humiliated every single day? They become depressed. They lose their self-confidence. And eventually they reach a breaking point where they refuse to go to school. Or they, like in the film, when um, William just has had enough. He breaks, he just, he's hit the wall. He just cannot take it any longer. That is what we're doing to the children in our schools. I would like to see school teachers take an oath similar to the Hippocratic Oath for doctors, where they make a commitment to teach all children how to read and write, not just a portion of them. And that is what's happening at the moment. I'm not, I'm not blaming teachers, they're not being given the skills that they need to do the job. But somehow, the education system has built up this attitude where they blame the children and blame the parents. That's got to change. It's actually the teacher's job to teach those children how to read, not just give them some quiet time with the book and let them absorb those words. They need to be taught how to break up, decode those words, learn the rules of English, and advance at their own pace. Everyone's different. Some children need a bit longer, but that's okay, they'll get there in the end. But what they can't do is all advance at the same pace. Not, not even in small groups, really. It's just, it's not going to work. One, by the time they get to eight years old, those ones that have got gaps in their knowledge are so far behind, they, that's when they start to hit this wall. They just can't do it any longer. Sometimes they can memorize words and hold them in their head for a bit. But they're, they're going to reach a capacity where they can't do that anymore. And that's when it breaks down.